Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cook Gammon Fanta. If you've not had it before, I'm talking about one of these lovely two kilo gammons, which if you're in pounds, that's about four and a half pounds of gammon. Or if you're in the US, then this can also work with ham because basically gammon is just uh, raw ham. And then of course, a big bottle of Fanta or Orangina or any other brand of your favorite um, orange drink is fine. Before we share this amazing recipe with you, we recommend that you head over to RecipeThis.com. At the top of the site is a search bar and you can search for any of our recipes that are featured on our YouTube channel. So this makes it really easy. So if you see one of our videos and you want step-by-step -step photos or a free printable recipe card, then that search box is amazing. And then if you scroll down below that, you'll be able to see our categories. And what you can do is, let's say you've got an Instant Pot, you can click on the link just for Instant Pot recipes. The same for the air fryer, slow cooker, soup maker, Thermomix, or whichever recipe you've got. And best of all, I highly recommend you enter your email address and sign up for our weekly newsletter. In our weekly newsletter, we feature all our latest recipes, as long as tips, tricks, popular previous recipes and so much more and we just really really would like it if you join and then when you do join you can reply to any of our newsletters and you'll get direct email response from me or my husband Dominic and it's just brilliant you can also look through the archives of our entire site so let's say you're looking for Christmas ideas, then you can look at December of the previous year or the year before that for some great ideas, search through our categories and do so much more. We've got 1400 plus kitchen gadget recipes on Recipe This and I just cannot wait to see you over there and welcome you to the Recipe This family. And the idea behind it is that gammon can be quite salty. So by soaking and cooking the gammon in a drink instead, it'll get rid of that saltiness and create a lovely, delicious uh, gammon Fanta. So, ingredients. So now you've done your prep, you're ready to grab your slow cooker and start loading everything up. You want to be loading in your oranges, your onion and your garlic into your slow cooker like that so that you've created a layer in the bottom of your slow cooker and then the next job is to add in your gammon of course the gammon comes with its layer of fat if you are on slimming world or weight watchers you can trim this off and also if you're on slimming world or weight watchers you can use zero free uh, fanta so then once you've got your gammon you want to be finding a gap for it in your slow cooker and then you want to be seasoning it. So I recommend a sprinkling of mixed spice, some mixed herbs, and some mustard. And then give it a good rub. And then you can turn it over and also carry on the rub on the other side. And then once you've turned it over, it'll keep the seasonings on the other side. It's time to add in your Fanta. We don't use salt, uh, salt in this recipe because Gammon already carries a lot of salt. So now you want to be pouring your Fanta all the way around until you run out. Note that if you've got a smaller slow cooker, you might need to add less Fanta and less gammon. You can of course do this recipe and swap the two liters of gammon, or the two liters of Fanta, sorry, for a liter and then swap the gammon for a kilo. So there you have it. That's the gammon and the Fanta and they're ready to be slow cooked. So place the lid on your slow cooker and you're ready to go. And we'll see you back here in four hours. 
So, the slow cooker Gammon Fanta went on at just after 10 a.m. It's now um, about half past two. Um, so it's just been just over four and a half hours altogether. But of course, when you've lifted the lid up to check on it, that slows down the time by about half an hour. So aim for about four hours for your large uh, gammon in the slow cooker. And let's check it out. Oh, steam, 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 steam. And as you can tell, uh, the thing about gammon is it always shrinks and that's how you know it's cooked. So compared to when it originally went on, you can actually see that the liquid's nearly touching the top and now it's ready for getting out. So it's gonna carry a lot of the liquid from the Fanta there, as well as a lot of steam. So big fork in it, give it a shake and then onto a plate. And don't break the plate. <laughs> And there you go, that's your gammon so far. Obviously, we're going to leave it to rest for a minute or two before Dominic carves it. And then we can just see how delicious slow cooker gammon is. So now the Fanta gammon's come out the slow cooker and Dominic's now going to slice it for us. Start by removing the netting from it. And if you don't want the fat, you can also trim off all the fat at this point as well which is great for if, you, if you're on Slimming World or Weight Watchers. And then you can go in with the slicing. Oh, wow. That looks absolutely fabulous. Wow, brilliant. Mm. Oh, the rocket that doesn't that look fantastic? Perfect. And of course, you can save the leftovers in the fridge for three or four days or eat them straight away. And they're brilliant for some uh, cheese toasties as well. So now Dominic sliced the gammon, it's time to give it a taste test. So this is one of the slices of the gammon. Mm. What I love about slow cooker gammon in Fanta is A, the Fanta gets rid of the deep salt flavour. B, the slow cooker makes it lovely and tender. And you can also fit a bigger slow cooker joint in the slow cooker compared to the air fryer. And then once it's sliced like that, it's perfect for serving for dinner. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.